Hey guys, it's Chris from Double Eagle Gunworks and just want to come out today and introduce you to the channel and let you know what you expect to see here uh, in future videos. I'm a certified range safety officer here in South Carolina and also a CWP instructor. On this channel we're going to be talking about some uh, gun reviews and also equipment reviews and uh, we'll be also showing some how-to videos and talking about things that's going on in the gun world right now. Uh, we've also got a website called DoubleEagleGunWorks.com and on that website we're uh, blogging right now, doing some articles about uh, guns and also our constitutional rights. Today we're going to be talking about uh, some of the guns that we've got in my collection here and uh, talking about which ones you could use for home defense and also ones for concealed carry. For concealed carry, uh, I like a little bit bigger gun because I got pretty good sized hands. Uh, so a small gun doesn't work as well for me. Uh, for my concealed carry gun, I like this Sig Sauer P3, P320 uh, in a compact. And it is large enough grip that I can get a full four finger uh, grip on the gun. And the pinky is not falling off the bottom so it's a real comfortable gun for me and this one happens to be chambered in 357 sig holds 13 rounds and also one in the chamber and i like carrying it in a inside the waistband holster uh, like this leather one here i find leather more comfortable than kydex so i like to use this one another gun that i'll carry sometimes is the sig p365 uh, this is a little bit smaller semi-auto and this one is chambered in 9 millimeter. It holds 12 rounds in this particular magazine but also one in the chamber. Uh, I find with my hands I like the 12 round magazine better than the standard 10 round that comes with it because I can also get a full grip on the gun and not have to worry about the pinky uh, falling off of it. Uh, this one, again, like to carry in an inside the waistband holster. Uh, this one's a new one that I've, I picked up recently. Hadn't used it a lot lately, but um, I do like the holster. It's a, a nice, comfortable holster. My wife, on the other hand, uh, she doesn't like uh, semi-autos. She prefers this Ruger LCR revolver. She likes it better because uh, she finds the revolvers easier to use and uh, she doesn't have as uh, much real estate to carry on uh, like I do for this bigger semi-auto. Uh, so she likes the, the Ruger and she will carry it in either uh, inside uh, the waistband holster like this one or she also has a belly band uh, that she will use for the gun. And that's the selections of ones that I use for uh, concealed carry. A lot of people will use a smaller one. I just don't like the, the smaller ones because they don't fit uh, me as well. But there's a lot of good options out there uh, for smaller guns. Now for home defense, I tend to go with more of a full size uh, handgun if you're gonna be using a handgun. And one that I have set up uh, for my home defense is this FN, FNS9. And it's a full size pistol. And I've equipped it with this uh, light here just in case I need to look for something in the dark uh, once I uh, if I hear a, a noise at night and this one holds 17 rounds and one in the chamber uh, so it's a, a good option uh, for home defense and it's a very comfortable gun to shoot and it, it points really easily Now, if you want to go with a uh, a bigger gun for home defense this Heckler & Coke HK 45 would be a great option uh, it holds 10 rounds of 45 uh, ACP and it's one of the softest shooting 45s that I've ever had. Uh, I love this gun. It's a great, great gun. Now if you wanted to go with something more along the lines of a shotgun for home defense, which is a great option, the Benelli Nova Tactical uh, chambered in 12 gauge. Um, would be a great option. This one has an 18 inch barrel, got ghost ring sights on it, and really 
good gun. You could um, have either uh, buckshot or slugs in it, depending on which one you like better uh, to use for the, the home defense round. And the last option we'll talk about tonight uh, would be an AR style rifle. And this one uh, is the Ruger AR556. Uh, and ARs are great guns for home defense because you can customize them however you want to. Uh, this one, so far, the only thing that I've put on it is this Vortex UH1 uh, sight. Uh, but I plan down the road, I'll probably add a flashlight uh, or a laser or a combination uh, of both for it. Uh, so, I want to thank you for watching the video, and if you liked it, please hit the like button down below and subscribe to our channel. And in later videos, we'll be going through each one of these guns, doing reviews, and talking about the pros and cons of each one. Thanks for watching.